Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the pen tool. This is a chart showing what we will be going over in this video. First open a new document, change the field to none and leave the stroke black. Next either press the letter P for the pen tool or select it from the toolbar panel. The pen tool cursor can either look like a crosshair or a pointer. To toggle between these two, press the caps lock on your keyboard. The pen tool cursor with the asterisks in the lower right corner indicates that you are ready to draw a new path. If you click on the artboard and start to draw like you would with the regular pen, you will get an anchor point with two direction lines. Let's undo it. The tool that is most likely to work like a regular pen would be the pencil tool. But we are not going to talk about it today. Let's go back to the pen tool. To draw a straight line, first single click on the artboard where you want the straight segment to begin and release your mouse. Do not drag. This will create the first anchor point, which will be the beginning of your path. Notice the first segment won't be visible until you click a second anchor point. Next, click again where you want the first segment to end. And click the next anchor point and again and again. You are basically creating a path by connecting the dots or I should say anchor points. If you don't want to continue your path, you need to deselect it. To do that, either press the Ctrl, Shift and A keys on your keyboard or holding down the Ctrl key, click anywhere away from the shape. Notice your pen tool cursor now has an asterisk next to it. And you are ready to draw a new path or you can go back and continue the unfinished path. When you position your cursor over the end of the existing path, you can notice a different cursor mark, which tells you that you are ready to continue the existing path. Click on this anchor point to continue the path and keep clicking to set anchor points for additional straight segments. The last anchor point you add always appears as a solid square, indicating that it is selected, whereas all the other anchor points are hollow and deselected. To finish the path, click on the beginning anchor point. When you position it correctly, a small circle appears next to the pen tool cursor. By closing the path, you create a shape. You can also change the position of any of the existing anchor points. To do that, either press the letter A on your keyboard for the direct selection tool or select it from the toolbar panel and click on the anchor point to select it. Another way to select an anchor point is to drag a box around it. Now with this anchor point selected, you can click on it, hold and drag it in or out to reposition it. You can also select many anchor points at once and move them as well. And of course, using the selection tool, you can select the whole shape and change its fill to whatever color you like. Next, we will draw curves. First, change the fill to none and leave the stroke black. Now, press the letter P for the pen tool. Position the pen tool where you want the curve to begin and hold down the mouse button. The first anchor point appears and the pen tool cursor changes to an arrowhead. Now drag down to set the slope of the curve segment you are creating. You can hold down the shift key to constrain it. And then release your mouse button. Next we will draw a C-shape curve. To do that, first position your pen tool where you want the curve segment to end. And then Drag your mouse in the direction opposite to the previous direction line. So in this case we'll drag it up. Let's draw another C-shape curve. 
Position your mouse where you want your curve segment to end and this time drag it down. Now let's make an S shape. To do that drag your mouse in the same direction as the previous direction line. Then release your mouse button. And let's do it again. The length and the slope of the direction lines determine the shape of the curve. Let's place one anchor point up here. You can also change the curve by moving one of the direction lines. To do that press and hold down the ALT key and then click on the handle hold and drag. Now release the ALT key and continue your path. Single click to get a straight line and click and drag to get a curve. You can also press and hold down the ALT key and click on the anchor point to start a straight or curved segment. And again, press and hold down the ALT key and click on the anchor point. And click again to draw a straight segment. After you click to create an anchor point, keep the mouse button pressed down. Then hold down the spacebar and drag to reposition the anchor point. Now single click to make a straight line, click and drag to make a curve, click to make another curve and click on the beginning anchor point to close the path. There are a few more tools that you should memorize while learning the pen tool. You can find them under the pen tool flyout menu. Let's select the add anchor point tool or you can press the plus button on your keyboard. With this tool you can add extra anchor points. Just click on the path to add them. Let's add three extra points to this segment. Now using the direct selection tool select the middle point and drag it down. The next tool is the delete anchor point tool. You can either press the minus button on your keyboard or select it from the side panel. With this tool you simply delete the anchor point bringing the two line segments into one. However this works differently if you select the anchor point that you want to delete and then use the delete key on your keyboard. Not only the anchor point but two joining segments will be gone. This can be useful if you want to redraw the lines from scratch. To continue the path first press the letter P for the pen tool then click on the end of the path and start to draw a new path. And the last tool is called the Convert Anchor Point tool. You can select it from here or press the Shift and C buttons on your keyboard. With this tool you can convert a corner point to a smooth point and vice versa. To do that click on the anchor point where the two lines come to a sharp point, hold and drag to get a smooth point and click on it again to get a sharp point. And again click and drag to get a smooth point and do the same with this one. Finally select the whole shape and change its fill. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.